We found the old male leopard out on the edge of a floodplain watching a herd of impala and one male waterbuck. He was clearly interested in them, hiding in the grass and moving closer, but he wasn't very, very well positioned at all. Although the impala had no idea that he was near them, he wasn't in any position to try and hunt. It wasn't long before he realized that and, and gave up this chase and cut back through the island onto Dead Tree Island. Near the point of Dead Tree Island, he started with rather peculiar behavior of calling and scent marking quite frequently. It wasn't long before we realized what his calling was all about. A female leopard came out of the sedge grass and went straight up to the same tree that he was in. She began to harass them and this is where these two began the first mating that we saw. It's an incredibly aggressive, very loud display and totally initiated by the female. It's typical for leopards to mate probably every half hour in the first several days of their mating. You could just see the female keeps coming back and harassing the male and just presenting herself to him. Amazing how nimble they have to be. The next day we found them further across from Dead Tree onto Sududu Island. The couple were out in the open sitting in a very big Mapani tree. Once again, the female was coming up to him and, and displaying in front of him. Our presence there didn't really impact on them and it was just an incredible piece of behavior to witness. The branches just didn't quite present a perfect place for them to, to copulate at all. It wasn't long before 
They both came down the tree. Most cats have serrations on their penises and apparently it's a painful ordeal for the female. She retreated from the open area to the edge of the grass and the sedge nearer the channel. Over a bit of time, we got to witness them mating for a last time on the edge of the, of the thick miscanthus grass. This mating was a particularly aggressive mating, again very much driven by the female. She remained in the sedge grass and the male, having done his bit he thought for the day, moved up onto the termite mound and promptly went to sleep 